Welcome back. Last episode was uh, was really something. Um, I had a whole lot of lore to uh, process. Um, still very suspicious about Athena. But now I'm wondering if um, her replacement, like the murder of Athena and that whole conspiracy that I have uh, cooked up, is um, something that happened during the Gap. If you don't remember, the Gap is a period where the gods don't recall anything. There's a, a, well, a gap in their memory um, spanning a very long time. So it's possible, oh, and, and all of them had no memory of this, this period, but Athena claims that she woke up on her own and that she went around and gathered the rest of the gods. Um, which, again, is very suspicious. And we learned that she knew that Calliope was killed in the reliquary, which means that Grace could not have killed her. So Athena kn knows that Grace is innocent. And it's just like a whole lot of, of red flags are going up. So, let's see where this takes us. Okay. I already just talked to Persephone, so... Um, see, I'm not quite sure if I can do more than one scene per day. So I would like to talk to Freddy, but Do it. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. There you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Freddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Um. What kind of equipment does one bring to a meeting with Medusa? This isn't a meeting, Grace. You're not here to sell her on your business plan. Please tell me you don't have any weapons in there. Uh, nothing that would get me stopped on the bus. Look, you're gonna need some backup in there, okay? Do you even know anything about Medusa? Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. Doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. Yeah. Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? 
Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Well, did you bring one? She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Starion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Well, some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what yep. was done to her was an injustice. Athena just follows the rules, right? Okay, let's do this. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. I have a plan. Do I? Um... Nothing in your bag for bashing a lock, I take it? Mm, I thought this was an adventure, not break and enter. What do you think adventures are, Freddy? I still can't believe you can do that. <laughs> it's like I don't even know you. And is this a good idea? What if Medusa, like, calls the cops? A better idea. As I recall, your big idea was to distract the guy at the front door with firecrackers. They're legal! And loud. I even want to know what else is in there. Oh, that's probably better if you don't. And there we go. Coming? Hell yes, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I'm to split up and have a look around. I'm warning you, oh. this is something you don't want to do. Hmm. Tell me more about me, look at you. A prime sashimi with opinions, too. Medusa, listen, I'm warning you. Mm, yes, keep on warning me. There's no me. rewinding, it's something you can't undo. Can't undo. It's kind of the point, lovely. Now, Wow, Medusa actually managed to to, uh, to mute my uh, game. <laughs> well, that's a problem. Look into me. Oh, she's looking 
away. Hey, I'm just a temporary muse. Wait, what? A temporary muse. <laughs> I'm not worth a price. Yes, not I'm from the thing you can choose. Not doesn't work on you oh. nevertheless let's take a look at you Van uh, called you hideous that's just untrue enough I'd kill for eyes like that the body too don't look at me maybe the hair needs some attending to don't look at me big picture honey it's nothing you can't undo yeah you're not a killer <laughs> you're much too cute you're lost little girl no more Hail Marys. We both know the cute girl's you. The killer's me. Don't know, you don't know. I do know that you didn't ki kill Calliope. So you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No. Yes, you do know, you know. Does that mean? Athena knows. No! Fine gray. I Just like fate made you. Fate played me. Just like fate won't see. What your eyes see. You think that will hurt me, child? You have not done your homework. Oh, sorry, just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. Hey, stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? Oh, come on. You really can't guess? You're smarter than that. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's no, death. No, I don't think so. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Where are you following her? You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena.
You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. He killed Hecate's cat by accident, but this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry? I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Well, I don't have any other choice but to... Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it... It's a problem. I've been working on it. I really have. Uh-huh. Well, what of Pan? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. It's still... I did not kill the muse. Okay, let's say we believe you, for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Whether I tell Athena depends. Have you done this before? Well, I... Don't you think Athena should know what her spy master is like? No, she cannot. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth... I... I'm not going to tell her, obviously. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. It just doesn't make sense. Pan sent me to the reliquary. If he's involved, why would he do that? I don't know. Guilt, maybe? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. Yep. 
I don't actually. Hey, I really appreciate all your help, anyone. <laughs> right? I am so good at this. Who needs to be an idol? Is this where you offer to be my kick-ass high priestess? <laughs> am I not already? <gasps> Seriously, am I not? So, what is Pan's angle, right? He's Mr. Red Herring, obviously. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope, and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me, right now. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is what, what way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Plot reasons. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I want to talk to Persephone. Or Freddy. Let's see if we get maybe some more lore out of this. Follow up on this conspiracy I have about Athena. <laughs> again so soon, Grace? <laughs> You're practically a regular at the club. Did you end up finding Medusa? Or did she vanish the moment you came near like she does with every other idol? She definitely did not vanish. Maybe I'd better explain what happened. I knew it. We never should have brought that monster to the new world. Athena is a fool to think Medusa can be controlled. You're fortunate to have made it out in one piece. It could have gone very poorly for you. I do really like her, but um, I'm not really sure that I want to romance anyone just yet. I know, I know, but let's focus on the important part of the story. Which is that if you believe what she says, Medusa appears to be exonerated. And that brings us back to Pan. I don't imagine you've confronted him yet. He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. Nor I. Pan would do anything to save his own skin. Allow me some time to consider our next move. He's a chaotic hedonist. Now then, unless you've something else to ask? But I don't no, think not he's really. a killer. I'll see you later, Persephone. Okay, so... Oh, I can do more than one thing. Okay, then I'm going to talk to Freddy. Hey, 
Hey, hey, so what's the news, Miss Muse? <laughs> Miss Muse? <sighs> well, does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. <laughs> well, I uh, went to a party held by the goddess of love, and she died. Man, I always miss the really good parties. Here I was, sitting at home, just reading a book. Everything else okay, though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet, no. Okay, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> what are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them, do you think? But four, they have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still crashing on Brian's couch? Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things? Where is Kaz li Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us when they're ready. But right now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. I should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're right, Grace. How dare you sabotage my dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I mean. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. <sighs> well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. Or two, we get back to it, and the band now has THE Muse as its lead singer. Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate band name <laughs> ever. Ugh, I still really yeah. hate that name. Look, Grace, it's you can't be the name. source of all the drama and name the band, okay? That's the rule. Exactly how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today. Or who they ever were, maybe. Still might be useful. There's gotta be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe? Who do you want to hear about? Okay. Do you know anything about the Muses? Or Calliope in particular? Yeah, for starters, there were supposed to be nine. Though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Each of the muses had her specialty. Did you know that Calliope is supposed to be the muse of epic poetry? She inspired the Odyssey. Wow, I don't even like poetry. Yeah, it was said her singing voice was unmatched. So they got that part right, at least. Did she also lead the ancient Greeks in giant choreographed dance numbers? No, but she once turned a bunch of snobby princesses into magpies, so there's that. What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Sure, but mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light. She was a warrior goddess. She was also the goddess of heroes. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No female heroes back in those days? Yeah, guess not. Women were the weaker sex, which maybe is why Athena was portrayed as being vindictive. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses. She turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan War. It's the whole thing. Not being as wise as advertised is on brand for her, then. Just how many of these gods are there? From what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Hundreds even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there is never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost. An image of someone after they die. Makes sense. Me? I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Makes you think about what's been lost, but also what might still be out there. You think there might be other gods out there? 
Well, there are all those gods the idols say wandered off. We don't know they're dead for sure, right? They could be living it up in Australia. Who would know? Then there are all the other mythologies, hundreds of cultures, each with their own pantheon. So what's so special about the Greeks? That only their gods are real, right? And all those other pantheons could be living in secrecy, just like the idols. And that means they're hidden from each other, too. Oh, they could be everywhere, and no one would know. It's like a whole other secret side to the world. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> I hope we get to meet Ganesha one day. Or maybe Lakshmi? Oh. <laughs> All right. What about Apollo? Okay, so the prophecy stuff checks out. Apollo was god of the sun and light, but also kind of of enlightenment in general. He's always talked about as this beautiful and cultured god involved with the arts and the muses. Kind of a renaissance man before the renaissance. Clearly had a rough time since those days. Well, he was also a giant horn dog, Grace. I can list off like a dozen men and women Apollo has had as lovers, and there's probably more. Aren't they all like that, though? I mean, Apollo's no Zeus. He never uh, assaulted anyone as a swan. And no, they aren't all like that. Our sun god had a reputation. Tell me what you know about Persephone. Honestly, she's the least like her stories. Usually, she's either a victim or just the wife of Hades, or both. And that's it? She was kidnapped by Hades and a story? Mm, pretty much. Her mother was so angry, she created winter. But otherwise, Persephone was just your average sweet and virginal fertility goddess. Right, that doesn't sound like her at all. It'd be hard to be defined by this one thing that happened to you thousands of years ago. I'd be pissed if everyone thought my story ended there. Well, she is pretty pissed. That much is true. You said Pan was some kind of lust god, right? Yeah, kind of. Pan's a god of the wild, and I guess that translates into a sort of lustfulness and earthiness, humping nymphs in the forest sort of thing. And you don't like him? Honestly, he's exactly what I'd expect him to be. Yeah. All the stories say he's a lech and a beast. The Christians equated him with the devil. Apparently, he's also the only god who's supposed to have died, though it's never really clear how or why. Anyhow, there's a great statue depicting Pan having sex with a goat. Next time you see him, you gotta ask him about it. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. Really? Nothing definitive? Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago, Grace. Not much information survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. Hmm. Well, I know that they have the, um, glamours. You know what I find weird? That the idols have managed to remain completely secret all these years. Sure, they have magic and whatnot, but in all this time, nobody's found them out? Athena is that good? Who says nobody has found them out? The way I see it, it's like UFOs. Okay, I have to hear this. Okay, so you have real evidence that UFOs exist and that governments have covered it up and people still wouldn't believe it. Why? Because they'd get laughed at if they admitted it. Imagine the headline. Greek gods exist and are living among us. What website would even run that? Weird conspiracy ones. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that's enough questions for now. You sure, I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. A apartment time. Uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were gonna watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are.
there be an idol here every time I come home? Just walking into my apartment, uninvited? Oh, I was invited. Freddy said I could stay. I haven't touched anything, I swear. Not really my point. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. Yeah, she can always yeah, come here. She does. <laughs> Everyone else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, no mortals ever kill Eidolon, uh, idols, and Athena never comes to the mortal world. That sure checks out. How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. A creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just mm. never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> yeah. She goes to the reliquary. Yeah. So this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him every day. Isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> you can't be this nice. Are you for real? Oh, well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. All right. I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know, you got it together really quick. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Can't use clever? Okay. Um, soul and charisma. Reckless and aggressive. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. I prefer to stand, thanks. As you like. 
You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are. Including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits. Particularly for your mortal friend. But you know what happened there! That's where Calliope was attacked! Yet it's not where she died, Grace, is it? Oh, because she made it all the way to my apartment, we shouldn't care why she was bleeding to death along the way. Hmm. You think our judgment was rash? It was. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Like you care about Medusa? She lives like that because you cursed her. Have you even tried to undo it? I'm betting not, because she's useful like this, and that's where your caring ends. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next. Walked out into the seas, never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered, and by one of our own. The list goes on. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean, our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, uh -huh. even if it appears unfair. It's too bad. I've been an idol for five minutes, and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. You don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have, you can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. The same person gave it to me, who gave it to Calliope. And who gave it to Calliope, then? I see. All right, let's talk about Medusa. Again, if you wish, what of her? Was I right? That you haven't even tried to undo the curse that you inflicted on her? I wish I could remove the curse. I'm afraid the Athena who bestowed it is long gone. 
She was prideful, that Athena. As prideful as she was powerful, I'm ashamed to say. The current Athena is responsible for everything she's done. I am well aware, Grace. What is it that you would have me do, exactly? How about you stop treating her like a servant? Maybe send her somewhere she won't be tempted all the time. Oh, well, if you happen to hear of a diet camp for man-eating monsters, by all means, do let me know. Now, if there isn't anything else... Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Hmm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. Well, that was useful. Don't take it personally, Grace. Athena's first instinct is to follow the rules whenever things get rough. As if she believes that if the idols don't blindly follow every rule to the letter, we'll dissolve into utter chaos. Well, is she right? Probably. Yeah, about this, how... How would... Executing Grace... Benefit them at all? When it comes to their immortality... Um, wearing off, or whatever. Do you think she's telling the truth? About the idols dying out? I'm not sure. I mean, if it is true, why hasn't she told the rest of the chorus? It sounds like she doesn't trust you. Well, the feeling is mutual. At any rate, I'm afraid we're going to have to disappoint her again. Uh-oh. What now? You need to go back to the reliquary, Grace. Let me guess. To figure out why Calliope went there in the first place. Exactly. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. We can't ask Calliope what her plan was. But you might be able to remember what she was doing there. Her memories? But I thought... That it will take years, yes. But if you go somewhere important to Calliope, or touch something special to her, You'll get flashes, feelings. Do you want Grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? I'm willing to wager the place Calliope met her fate has left its mark in Grace's psyche. We have only to uncover it. Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. I'm certainly not suggesting we ask Athena for permission. Then you mean... A week ago, I would have said breaking into the reliquary was impossible. Yet it appears Hecate can be surprised. If her book says she will be. Let's hope the book says that again, I guess. Unless you've some other plan. I'm all ears, as they say. <clears throat> yeah. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. At least at first. Well, well can sneak I'll in. be following in Calliope's things. footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? And they discover you and we apologize profusely. Will not be a good look, though, just saying. Right then. Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? 
because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go in with you. Hecate would sense me right away. I will, however, stay close by. Now that doesn't oh, mean you, you should take Stephanie. stupid risks. Don't be a fool, Grace. Why not? My life's on the line either way. Come on, the time for adventure is now. Oh, this will not end well. I know it. be dirty to Hecate. I don't need to take any of the books. I just need to get vibes. Ah, so that is now. Oh, you were uh, expecting us? It is written that you would come, yes. <laughs> that is so cool. I kid you not. That it was also written that you would sneak into the reliquary as Calliope did, so this encounter is... unanticipated. I figured talking face to face would be more civilized and, you know, less dangerous. I appreciate your motivation, though surely you cannot think mere etiquette will change my answer. The only reason you won't let me in is because Athena forbids it, right? She is the one to whom I made my promise, yes. What if I said that she's a suspect in Calliope's death? Is she a suspect? She's an idol. I don't know that she's not a suspect. Yet. Without more evidence, isn't her command potentially self-serving? <sighs> you will regret this. That is also written. That is a yes. Go quickly. Look, but do not touch. The reliquary stores many artifacts, some dangerous. Got it. I love they have these labyrinths. Oh. Okay, Grace. What the heck do you um. do now? Of all the times to not have Freddy around, she'd love this. First things first, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just... focus. It's weird, like, I've definitely been here before.
Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm. Maybe it's both. What did Freddy say about mazes? Was it always go left? Or go left and then go right? <sighs> they should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? It is in a museum. <laughs> this is it. Eliope was here. She was standing right here. And she... Uh-oh. I think that they're the fates. I don't suppose there's any chance you'll put those knives away. Okay, then. What's happening? Why didn't it work? They're the fates. On them, they just keep coming. No, I won't let you. God, Freddy. <sighs> By the gods. You summoned the Furies. Oh, the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies. Beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it. There is only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. 
Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. I didn't talk to any fates. There were figures in the mirror, but they vanished when the Furies got there. Yeah, they were the fates, okay. This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. Now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. Persephone, we can't just... There must be something we can do. She made her choice, Grace. No! It's not right! Come. There's nothing more to be done. So Freddy's gone. But you know, this, um, I know Persephone couldn't do anything. She's no longer the queen of the underworld, but it doesn't imply that there still is an underworld. And I know anything about my Greek mythology is that you can travel there it's easy to go to the underworld it's hard to come back so maybe we're going to be entering into the uh, part of the world building where we we see the how um, the true underworld functions Still sus of Athena, but I think that's all for today. Um, it's been an hour. Thank you for coming along, and um, I'll see you next time.